in this English lesson. I wanted to teach you the English term from scratch. When you make something from scratch, it means you make it from the basic ingredients. In our house, we have an oven and the oven broke. And then when we got the oven fixed, my kids started to make cookies again from scratch. That means they got flour and they got sugar and they got chocolate chips and all of the ingredients that they needed, eggs and a little bit of water um, and some baking powder, I think. I don't know exactly how to make cookies, although I did do a video about that once, didn't I? Anyways, they've been starting to make cookies from scratch and it's been yummy, but it's been bad for my waist size. I think I'm getting bigger again. I need to stop eating all of the cookies that my kids are making from scratch. So again, when you bake something from scratch, you use all of the basic ingredients in order to make it, which is completely different than when you have something that is store-bought. So we also sometimes have store-bought cookies in our house. And I think you understand what that means. Those are cookies that you buy at the store. Now I have to say this, I have not enjoyed eating store-bought cookies for quite some time. I think when I was a kid, I really enjoyed store-bought cookies. I think the box was full of cookies and I think the store was getting cookies from a factory that made cookies with really normal ingredients. But I find store-bought cookies now don't taste as good as I remember them tasting uh, when I was a child. I feel like they taste a little bit artificial now. I don't like them near as much. So I don't have a problem with store-bought cookies. I don't eat them <laughs> uncontrollably, but I certainly have a bit of a problem with cookies that are made from scratch. So to review, when something is baked or made from scratch, we're usually talking about something like a cookie or other baked good, and it's made using all of the basic normal ingredients that you would use when you make something which is different than something that is store-bought, which refers to something that is purchased from a store and usually made in a giant factory somewhere. I'm sure there's cookie factories somewhere in Toronto and that's where all of the store-bought cookies are made. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Linda. And Linda says, without realizing you taught also oldie but a goodie. Nice expression, loved it, thanks. And my reply was, it just kind of slipped out. Yes, in the last video, I think I said something was an oldie but a goodie. Whenever you say something is an oldie but a goodie, you're referring to something that is old but is still really, really cool or awesome or has value. Probably the best example of this would be songs by a band called The Beatles. Whenever a Beatles song comes on the radio, you can certainly say, ah, this is an oldie but a goodie kind of a funny phrase. It sounds funny when I say it out loud as well. But anyways, I wanted to walk for a bit and talk. I forgot to do that when I started just ad-libbing a little bit there. But what I wanted to show you is a couple of things. One is, this is actually a bed of sunflowers and those will be ready to harvest in about six weeks, I think. But the main thing I wanted to show you is actually way in the distance. So way back here, you can see my field of wheat. I have a 32 acre field of wheat, not 30 acres, exactly 32 acres. And it will be ready to harvest in about, yeah, where are we now? It's almost in about six weeks as well. So at the same time that these sunflowers are ready to be cut and sold, the wheat field back there will be ready to harvest. And I'll make sure on the day that happens, that I come out with my camera so you can see my neighbor in his giant combine, combining and harvesting my wheat. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson.